and on top of that, I wanted to make an update regarding the Sloan um, controversy that happened recently. I'm sure most of you guys know that I was speaking about it on the previous podcast that this artist called Sloan, or how do you say his name? Ola Lusu, Ola Lusu Sloan, or Ola Lu, is that how you say that? How do you say that? Do you say that? Ola, Ola Olu, Ola Olu Sloan, yeah, so Ola Olu Sloan, this artist had made this artwork called the Free Yoruba Brothers, which features these depiction of gollywogs, and he sold it for a record £31,750. And a lot of people online, especially black people in the UK, were really angry about it because they were upset that the depiction of black people on that painting wasn't the greatest and it's being sold for this much money. It's kind of furthering and cementing black stereotypes and it's racist tropes and blah, 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 blah. You get the drift. Another part of the community of people online who were complaining were other black artists in the UK who felt as if this guy's artwork wasn't worthy of the attention it was getting and it was upsetting them that they weren't getting the same attention that they were getting so kind of a little bit like a jealousy type of thing right i for one was saying that i think it's okay to say that you don't like the artwork in terms of your you know preference of what you like to see on a canvas but i think to go as far as to say oh that should be me i think that's when it it, it kind of it steps into a territory of not being productive it steps into a territory of hating for hating sake and it also um just comes across a little bit evil spirited i think just saying you don't like the artwork is one thing but saying that should be you or saying that person's undeserving of their success is really extreme especially when you think you know when the reality is that art is incredibly subjective like most art forms and you know whether you like it or not is kind of your preference but just because this person exists and does something that you don't like doesn't mean that they're not worthy of attention love or whatever it may be now one particular young lady really fucking hates Sloan, and i have to be honest a part of me kind of rates the hate because she's wearing it on her sleeve and she's saying it boldly the person I'm talking about is this young lady called the Art Bay, also known as um, what's her, I think also what's her actual name? Her actual name is uh, Lindsay Daniela, right? This girl called Lindsay Daliena really, really detests Sloan, and I like that she wears it, you know, on her fucking chest. But I also think this approach isn't constructive and is most likely an explanation as to why maybe she hasn't reached the heady heights that Sloan has reached, despite her thinking her art is better than his. So. When this whole tweet went, you know, viral, sh depicting the artwork that Sloan put out and obviously showing the price that it sold for, she quote tweeted it and said, it sucks to create art that I do and constantly get rejected for opportunities. But this minstrel depiction of black people is what the artwork fetishizes and calls contemporary African art. I don't think you can call this contemporary African art. I just think you can call it contemporary art. I think putting the label or kind of, you know, pigeonholing it to African is also a little bit offensive and kind of otherizes us. If, if it was up to me, being an artist myself, I want our art to exist in the big galleries, in the main, you know, fucking conventions uh, be written about in the main publications you know be featured on the main on, on in the main magazines i don't want our art to be like separated i don't want our art to be just like couldn't you know can't take cloth shit do you know what i mean ghana must go bags no it should be spoken about the same way you speak about you know some nondescript person from fucking belgium putting a you know a wooden chair in the middle of a gallery it should be the same level it should be given the same level of respect in my personal opinion so let's just remove african and let's just call it contemporary art so she doesn't like salon she thinks it's terrible she continued with that tweet thread she continued and said while we are on the topic let's discuss why you will see thousands of minstrel style art in galleries on the left used to represent black people before you ever see art on the right by kiende wiley depicting black people as they are that's very untrue kiende wiley is one of the most popular successful very well sold black artists in the world um you know their artwork is shown everywhere so to say that you don't see this type of artwork in places is ridiculous to be completely honest but i understand what they mean in terms of maybe this striking imagery with the black skin and the big red lips maybe a lot of galleries like this because you know number one is edgy it causes controversy it gets attention um it drives clicks and at the end of the day galleries aren't there to kind of I wouldn't say galleries are there to sort of like inform the public on like new art forms or new artists. Galleries are basically a showroom for the artwork. Um, they're there to sell artwork. They're not there to kind of, you know, bolster the fucking, you know, the scene, the industry, highlight new artists at all. No, they're just a function of just selling work. So if they can get attention, if they can kind of, you know, 
clickbait rage bait people into visiting a fucking exhibition they'll do so so maybe that might explain why a lot of this stuff is being featured it continue and again it's just it's still just you know cherry picking examples the art world is systemically racist i also don't think this is true maybe the system when it comes to selling artwork might be systemically racist or might be um what's that word called might be very clicky but i don't think it's racist i think the racism term is a little bit you know it's a little bit extreme i think there's a ton of galleries out there that are showcasing artwork from people from all over the world from all walks of life to so to assess this racist is dumb because if it was racist then how is this girl existing i know she doesn't sell her work or display it in major art galleries but the fact that this young lady the art babe exists kind of you know dissuades that notion we continue it says art that isn't clowning black features gets little to no representation i'm sick and tired as an artist seeing that style with history behind it being the only way the art world sees black people i feel more empowered seeing art that completely represents us in full chrome and hue compared to the art that tries to reclaim racial stereotypes this is the art that i create i hope to fill the world with empowering art of black women and it features some of the artwork that she puts out there which in my opinion i feel like it's a little bit like you know a bit boring um although it's very realistic although it's very nice to the eye um obviously the messaging behind it is rather uplifting you see a lot of these depiction of black women in jungles and forests and around nature and shit and being this you know ba basically being depicted as a form of mother nature i just think in terms of a, a piece of artwork in terms of telling a u.s story in terms of taking you on a journey in terms of inspiring you whatever it may be it just thinks a little bit boring in my personal opinion but what do i know but she stood on her shit which i like when people do she double triple down also tweet muted i said what i said and she also said calling me jealous when i create art that i do is crazy i could never sell my soul to appeal to racist if you're interested in my art here's the link below so she obviously has a link to all her work that she puts out some prints blah 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 well it didn't stop there she continued going after sloan right after this right she still got his foot her foot on his neck or her foot on his neck so she posted the following she said, all money ain't good money. My self-respect, peace, sanity ain't up for sale. I cannot have my art in the home of an artist who sold out his community. So ever since that tweet went viral, which I posted, which I kind of showed you already here, where she was basically quote tweeting his work and saying, I can't believe this guy's shitty work is getting more attention than my work. This racist tropes are horrible. It furthers systemic, you know, racist thing in art industry. She then went on to continue doing that. And I guess Sloan saw this and he decided to buy some of her stuff, right? Sloan thought he was doing like a Drake, like when, like when Drake sent um, Charlemagne bottles of fucking champagne. Sloan thought he could do the same thing to this girl. So he went and bought a bunch of her work, right? <laughs> As you can see the notification here, you have, a, you have a new order for 10 items totaling £273. And then she saw that and decided to cancel his order. <laughs> this girl hates this guy so much she cancelled all his orders for the items that he's, he tried to buy from her to kind of prove a point that you know she's a hater and that like, he's doing much better than her or whatever it may be could you imagine that could you imagine that much on both sides right like she hates him for being an artist who kind of is sold out his community and is depicting black people in a horrible way and um she i guess he hates her because she's just hating him uh, because he makes more money than her and he's more successful whatever it may be but i do kind of rate it i'm not gonna lie i fucking rate it so she decided to post a picture of him and took a screenshot of all these racy tweets that he put out where he kind of doesn't look that great one tweet he says son my baby mama is actually slavic white as hell blonde with blue eyes thank god sorry donkey kong Another tweet from him says, I'm making an app where white people can pay to call me nigger anonymously. <laughs> I think that always that already exists, boy. We've got Twitter. That already exists, my friend. Another one, he says, who's your target audience? He says, racist. Another one says, me, I got money and started doing coke with racists. So Olo saying does coke with racists. Another one says, Nigeria is really nigger real. Another one says, ugly dad, beautiful son duo. And another tweet, what else has he got here? oh sorry and um and obviously she put the caption at the top she says also the people jumping me saying i'm jealous of this man selling his work for 30k and putting down another man's hustle this is who you're supporting so clearly she's not a fan of the guy she thinks he's horrible she thinks he's bad for the art world and she decided to stand on her shit receive his orders which they came through on her shopify and she cancelled every single one of them which is again i think 
you know, the kind of hate levels that I kind of aspire to get to, where you would turn down someone's money because you hate them that much. I fucking love it. So she continues in the tweet. She says, um, most of must have lost your damn mind if you thought I would want my art in your home, knowing how racist and sick you are as an individual. Fumbling the bag because I don't want my art in a racist home. My gosh, some of you literally have zero integrity when money is involved. So again, fair enough. Do you know what I mean? She's standing on her shit. She hates Ola Sloan. She doesn't want his artwork anywhere, features anywhere near her. And she obviously decided to stand on her shit and cancel his order. Now, what do I think about this whole thing? I think essentially this for me is another indication of like, I wouldn't even say crabs in the barrel. I just think it's another indication of why the UK is bad vibes. Because I think in my personal opinion, both of these people can coexist. You can have the art babe doing her thing. You can have Sloan doing his thing without their needing to interact, intersect or put each other down. But unfortunately, because there's so little opportunities, specifically in the art world, especially if you want to go through the conventional galleries and you want all that recognition shit, right? Which I personally wouldn't want and don't give a fuck about. I think you're probably better off, you know, renting out your own space and doing a little exhibition with your own money, um, doing it obviously during the time that everyone does exhibitions, but you don't need to go through the conventional arts, art kind of system, whatever it may be. But because they want to play that game, there is a limited space there. There are limited spaces, particular people that come from a particular environment, black and brown people. So they're basically competing for that one chair on the table and around the dinner table, surrounded by a bunch of white people that want to buy their art and put a hang up in their mansion somewhere that's the unfortunate side of the situation like they can't coexist because they all want that same seat at that same table because they all both know intrinsically or in instinctively deep down that once you get a seat at that table you're basically set for life you basically have patrons that can kind of look after you you have galleries that will work for you until the end of time and essentially kind of all but guarantees your future because they look at you as an artist and most of these people want to surround themselves with creative people who come from you know backgrounds or you know um lives that they probably have never lived so they almost in a way fetishize you so you know playing that role and being in that position can all but guarantee your safety and your future but obviously a part of you ends up dying now if we lived in a perfect world these people could do their own thing without obviously interacting with each other and everything would be nice but the fact that they're not and they're beefing it kind of is what it is i just like the fact that they're not hiding their hate for each other right she hates him because she thinks he's she thinks he's, his art is shit and he definitely doesn't rate her because you know he thinks yeah you might make better artwork than me technically you might be a better painter drawer illustrator whatever it may be but i figured this way I've, i figured this thing out and you know i think most of us would know especially the older you get it's rarely um a thing of talent it's mostly about how you kind of work that thing for yourself into your advantage especially when it comes to the arts especially when it comes to these careers that are kind of you know unconventional there is no kind of blueprint there is no step-by-step -step guide to become a contemporary artist you basically just figure it out so in these type of careers it is really less about what you know and maybe who you know maybe in that regard and obviously Sloan has kind of figured it out seeing that he's so kind of cool and in the right circles surrounded by certain people blah -de blah 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 she just needs to figure out her way of doing it it doesn't need to be his way it doesn't need to be with his circle of people she just needs to figure out her way of doing it and then it'll be fine or maybe she needs to be honest about her need for acknowledgement or recognition from the conventional art world and art industry maybe she's being a little bit you know, maybe she's kind of lying to herself that she doesn't want that recognition. And because he's been recognized there, she doesn't want to be recognized by a racist, but she clearly does want a little bit of recognition, which is perfectly fine. Just be honest with yourself and then try and figure out how you can get that recognition in some way or whatever. But I find this interesting. Um, again, you know, this fucking contemporary art beef amongst uh, black people, especially for my community and stuff, is a bit unfortunate. But I do kind of like the fact that they're wearing their hate on their chest. But unfortunately, this is another example of why the UK is such bad vibes and why it's all but difficult to kind of make and thrive your a career in the arts in the UK because people are always sniping at you. People are always asking why you should have this, why you don't have that. It's a bit of a crazy world. And then to end it, to end it, to end it, to end this situation, look at this tweet she put out this girl's a fucking savage i guess this person at the bottom um decided to say something you know mean to her and call her stuff mean so this young lady decided to go into a you know tweets and quote to a bunch of these pictures where she's wearing these outfits and quote to it and said saying that my art is just colors and gives high school art project 
while dressing like a pirate's wife is extremely audacious. So the art babe is a bit of a she's a bit <laughs> she's she likes a bit of a clap back. She's a bit of a meanie in her own way. But I'm I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this energy. I love this energy. She called this woman a she dresses like a pirate's wife. <laughs> Could you imagine somebody insulting your looks and saying you dress like a pirate's wife? Don't get me wrong. There is some, you know, there is some credence to what she's saying with some of these outfits. But Jesus Christ, man, the art baby is a fucking meanie. She hates salon. She hates pirate's outfits. <laughs> she's just not with it. She's just not with it. She's just not with it. So leave the art babe alone. Let her sell her artwork. Don't piss her off. If you do, she's going to quit to you and destroy some of your outfits. So leave that woman alone. Leave that blood clout woman alone if you so may. Please. 